Hey guys, so today I have yet another video for you and this is two tips that I found. Um, and the, the first one you're going to think is weird. There's no doubt about it because it is weird. Well, not weird, but it's just like this thing that I found in a magazine. I found it in InStyle. If you want proof, I will show you right now. In fact, okay. So if you can't already tell, it's lipstick on your cheeks. Okay, and that may sound really weird, but I can honestly say there was a runway show. I can't remember if it was like Alexander McQueen or... I don't know. I'm going to have to check that out. I don't remember. But it, there was a runway show where they put lipstick on their cheeks, on the just the apples of their cheeks, not in the hollows. That's where um, their highlighter went. But right on the apples of their cheeks, they put your lipstick. And they used, okay, they used, there were two different runway shows where they showed it. One, they used, like, a more of a neutral color. And that was, like, kind of like this. Um, and that kind of went, they just did light dusting of that. And another one was, like, a really pretty light pink. And you could use, a, I mean... If you don't have a light pink in your lipstick collection, that is something you absolutely need to get because pink just goes with everything. Um, so you can use like a bunch of different pinks. I have one, my Revlon Lip Butter that I could use. Um, another would be my Zayland lipstick in Twinkle Pink, which is really pretty light pink. And I'm going to just show you what this looks like. Using this one. Okay, so this is without it being blended or anything. Okay, so it looks a little scary, like war paint. Her. <laughs> but if you just take your finger, your middle finger, your index finger, and this is kind of like um, a cream blush, which is what I'm going to show you after a cream blush that I love. Um, okay, and as you can see, it just gives me this really light Pink. and this one is actually really pretty and I'm gonna use this more often as a blush because it's got like this shimmery shimmer to it I don't know if you can tell by the camera but it's really pretty um, I've got three Zalon lipsticks so you can tell I like them um, they're very good uh, and I suggest those I wouldn't use anything really dramatic like red or anything because that would be a little bit scary, so try and stick for, away from that. And now I have one other kind of beauty insider thing. And this is cream blush. Now, my mom gave me a cream blush the other day, and I was trying it out. I tried it out today to school, and you know what? I love cream blushes. And the my what I do with my cream blush is I apply... I don't really like foundation, but I apply my powder, my cream blush, and then a powder blush on top of the cream blush. And I do that because if you just apply a cream blush, it is so, so pigmented. Like, I mean, this Becca cream blush that I have is like, I cannot even tell you how pigmented it is. And I don't, I tried, I don't know if this is the color. It says like frangipani. Frangipani. I don't think that's a color. That's kind of like an odd color name. But it is just so pretty. Um, and, I mean, it's so pigmented. And like I said before, if you put, if you just put this on the apples of your cheekbones and you leave it there, like, without adding powder or, you know, blending it or setting it, I would, mm, mm wouldn't wear it if I didn't have a powder blush to go on top of it. Because it is just way too too pigmented for me and it looks like I feel like a clown or something creepy like that so you know I mean this is so pretty I will do a swatch for you oh and that's not a really good swatch I'm gonna do it on my finger oh my goodness it looks so pretty on my if you can just tell it's like this really beautiful shimmery pink color that is just oh I'm in love with it Oh my goodness, sorry, that was a long time holding it up to you. And I just apply it on the top with um, a CoverGirl blush. And this is not exactly the same color, but 
it just kind of sets it and, you know, makes it... So as you can see, my cheeks kind of look scary. This one's, like, pink and this one's not. But, um, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. And I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend using a cream blush and trying lipstick on your cheeks. Which, they kind of have the same consistency, lipstick on your cheeks and cream blush. Because they're, like, both, you know... I don't want to use the word creamy because that's what a cream blush is, so that's kind of weird. But they're both like that really thick kind of, you know, thick but at the same time light texture that is really, really pretty um, on and delivers such... I mean, if you look at them, they're, they're so pretty and then their consistency, if I swatch each of them like on my fingers, they're so different from each other, but they're so pretty together, so... Um, those are just some odd things that I was showing you, except for cream blush. That is cool, but um, that's regular. A lot of people use cream blush, but people, from what I've seen, I don't really see people using lipstick on their cheeks as a blush. But, hey, it's still cool, and I suggest it. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.